All right, so in this video, I have a couple of sneakers. I, I don't know what they are. So uh, we're gonna show you guys them. They're in some really fancy packages. This one's value is estimated at $5. This one is $15. So total estimated value of $20. Let's go ahead and see what we got. What is going on guys, Hess here. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HessKicks. And today's video is gonna be sponsored by Privacy. Now, if you've never heard of Privacy service before, check it out in the description, privacy.com slash HessKicks. If you guys actually do, because you guys are watching the video, you'll get five free dollars to use anywhere you'd like. But what is Privacy? Well, it allows you to create online burner cards on the fly, which protects your bank information and helps keep you guys safe. When you're shopping on unsavory sites, maybe like these to buy fake sneakers, or if you're just trying to protect yourself from a reoccurring monthly charge, use Privacy and create a burner card. It's really easy to do. I'll have more about Privacy towards the end of this video. But let's not wait any further. I gotta see the goodies in these bags. Let's start with the $5 uh, bag right here because, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't think, uh, okay. <laughs> what in the world? I don't even remember ordering these. I think this is a pair that I ordered maybe seven months ago. Oh, God, it smells like a skunk. What? Oh my God, and I went back for more. <laughs> This is the worst. This, oh my God. I don't know if I can open this. It seriously smells like a dead skunk. Good Lord. Uh, I don't think this is, oh my God. It's, it's hands down the worst, worst smelling sneaker I've ever held in my hands. Oh. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. These smell like a skunk and a, in a cigarette butt container. Like, unbelievably terrible. $5 value is, this is like a negative $100 value for me for even having it in this room because it smells so bad. I don't, oh. I'm gonna have to take a shower after this video because this is by far the most disgusting smelling sneaker I've ever had. And I've had shoes that I bought and used that have shown up and smelled like smoke from other people's houses. Like, that's pretty bad too, but this is like a skunk. These are smell like a dead skunk. I don't know how this was even a thing. Ugh. I, anyway, ugh. I ordered these on Wish for I think like $8 or something like that. Of course, the total after shipping was like $20. It had this crazy rainbow midsole and I was like, oh, that's hilarious. It's like a 4D, Adidas 4D midsole with like a rainbow underneath it. And then it has like a Yeezy vibe upper to it, like the 350 uh, V2 with the little clear on the side even. Then it had some pull straps on the, the front and the back. I don't know what the heck these are. Apparently 400 pounds of something it says. This might be the worst sneaker I've literally ever purchased. It smells so terrible. The bottom has an interesting uh, outsole and then there's little rubber nibs on it for the midsole. It's not squishy at all. I can't even touch those anymore. I'm done with that. I need to put them back in a bag or something. They just smell so terrible. The other pair I got, I think these ones are from Wish also. So let's just open it up. I don't honestly understand how Wish is even legal. Like. Wish is by far the most sketched place I've ever bought anything. And I literally have only bought off of the site uh, to make videos on some of their stuff because it's so incredibly terrible. Um, holy moly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at this. Air Dior. This is hilarious. This is so bad. Uh, we know what this is. Box price is $15. Holy, <laughs> look at this guy. I mean, quality. Holy Toledo. Let's see these bad boys. Oh, wow. It came with a shopping catalog. Yikes. Lower price, $40. They have a whole bunch of things. Dior's, uh, the Jesus shoes, blazers, off-whites. I mean, this is, this is some high, this is some high quality stuff over here. So I can't. Holy moly. So we got the Dior mids, dudes. I didn't realize that they made uh, mid tops. But uh, but here we go. 
We got the Dior mids. This is a limited edition thing. What was that? Looks like the, the Jumpman just fell off. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Wow. Wowie wow wow. This is some high quality stuff. First of all, what size is this? Does it say on the box? 8.5, that is not what I ordered. So first of all, they can't get the size right because you guys know I'm a 9.5. So these were actually $65. This is a numbered pair 2058 out of 8,500. So I got one of the lucky ones, the real limited joints over here. Let's see. Well, at least the pair matches. This is also a limited as well uh, to the same number. You do have some Dior-ish prints here on the tongue that has the Ds all over the place, it looks like. Uh, and then it does say Dior Air on the top. And uh, I mean, the most iconic part of the shoe maybe is the swoosh, right? The Dior print swoosh all over the place there that's kind of uh, stitched on really interestingly. I can't even focus in this video though because these shoes right here smell so terrible. It's like literally having a skunk in my, my nose hole. It's the worst smell ever. Uh, Dior on the bottom. And then look at that off-center Dior right there on this one. So for those wanting to see the bottoms, I mean, I see blue soles for sure. The midsole and outsole does look fairly similar to an Air Jordan 1. Look at this one comes with special creasing right here on the toe box. Like that's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome crease. I'm guessing this is not real leather. It looks like um, polyurethane. Unlike the real ones, you have this fancy insole right here. I mean, it's high quality foam and it does say Dior on the inside. So you know it's real. The other one says Dior also just across the back. There's no uh, Nike branding on there. That's actually interesting. Underneath that on the struggle, you could see the Dior print uh, under there and it looks like it's painted on or something. They went all in on the fake details for a fake pair of sneakers. They actually kind of went in on extra details. Now, they're not correct details, but they actually went in and did a bunch of different detailed things that say Dior and have the same color branding. It looks like somebody basically did a custom on these shoes and made a mid-top Air Jordan uh, 1 into a Dior custom, which, I mean, great job to the customizer, I guess. I don't I don't really know what else to say, man. This is pretty funny. I mean, for those people that want to have the real thing, obviously the prices are crazy. I haven't got like a replica pair of the Dior's. There's no way I'm paying the money for the real pair either. So this is the closest I'm gonna get, the $60. Uh, Dior's right here and uh, next to the to the rainbow Yeezy 4D skunks over there. I mean, this is pr pretty funny stuff, man. Uh, I don't have you guys bought anything from Wish? If you haven't, have you ever looked at their catalog of stuff? It's just it's comical to see on the pictures and then it's even more comical to see uh, the product that you get. One thing that I like is that they actually included the Air Jordan 1 high top tongue with the mid top uh, Air Jordan Dior's. I, it's just it was a smart move for them to do that. I think that they just wanted to know that this could have been the high top, but we wanted to make it mid. All jokes aside, man, these are so bad. My nose can't handle that package anymore. But now I want to tell you about privacy for those people that have not used this service. Thank you to Privacy for sponsoring this video. And if you've never heard of Privacy before, let me tell you about the service. It's actually one that I've been using on a regular basis this last year. A couple key features about Privacy. One, it allows you to create burner cards on the fly. So you can create a new credit card number, pin and date on the fly and then provide that to a company instead of giving them your real bank card. Because you know what happens when you give your real bank card and it gets flagged. It gets shut down and then you have to go back to the drawing board with all of your autofills and all of your things that you've put in that credit card in and then replace it with the next one. It's a pain in the butt. I've had it happen a couple of times and it's no fun anytime that it happens. Privacy can prevent this from happening anytime you order something over the phone and being virtual 100% of the time nowadays, it's more important to use this service more now than ever. When you order a pizza online, don't give them your real credit card information. Create a privacy burner card and then provide them that instead. I swear I've been burned on this before as well where I gave them my credit card over the phone the very next day I got a miscellaneous charge for a CVS service center thing that was 95 cents or something like that. It was ridiculous, but I had to change all my credit card information from that again. So having these virtual credit cards is really, really helpful. They also do have a Chrome and a Firefox extension. So if you're shopping online on a random site that you're wanting to buy something from and you don't want to use your actual credit card or maybe they just limit to one purchase, you can use that privacy extension to create a new burner card on the fly. You can use a privacy card with a one-time usage 
or a reoccurring balance of $50 a month or whatever cadence that you really want. For those of you guys watching the video, you can get five free dollars for shopping anywhere online that you want. If you guys wanna sign up with a link in the description or go to privacy.com slash Heskicks. I know I've been working with Privacy for a couple of sponsored videos, so I appreciate you guys for supporting those videos. Privacy does as well. If you guys do like the video, drop a like on the video to show you guys the support. With paid promotions from companies like Privacy, I'm able to create content for you guys on a regular basis, so it is much appreciated. My room smells like a skunk now though, so for those wondering, I feel like I need a Lysol this entire house. Like it smells so bad in here. Shame on you, Wish, for allowing sellers to send skunk shoes I wanna to try to get my money back for those things. Uh, actually, it's probably not worth it. It's probably more of a hassle to ship them. These fancy guys right here though, I actually wanna cut these in half to see if there's air in the air pocket. I think that there's probably just an empty hole uh, down here. I haven't cut a pair of the fakes in half in a long time. If you guys wanna see that, maybe drop a comment in the comment section. Have a good rest of the day out there. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel again and hit that notification bell to be notified Thank you again to Privacy. Once again, privacy.com slash Heskicks for that five free dollars. Have a good rest of the day out there and hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel. Peace guys.